Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to discuss soybean flowering. So if you're a non-farmer, probably wondering, well, what's the difference? Don't all plants flower? Well, they do, or at least a lot of them do, but they flower depending on different things. And with soybeans, it's a little bit unique. Well, soybeans in our part of the country flower based on the shortening of day length. So when you think about it, the days get longer up until June 21st, and then the days start getting shorter, just by a few minutes each day. Now for my kids, they don't really seem to notice that. You know, it seems like, oh man, the days are long, and they're really long until summer's just about over for the kids. But for soybean plants, they pick up on that, that it's just a few minutes less sunlight each day, and wow, I better start kicking it in gear, because before we know it, frost is gonna come, and we have to make soybeans first. So as farmers, we discuss this as the reproduction reproductive stages of soybeans. The reproductive stages start when that soybean plant starts flowering. So we always say, at least in our part of the country with the indeterminate soybeans that we raise, that when the day length begins to shorten, that's when reproduction is going to kick in. So you won't see it exactly on June 22nd or anything, but just a few days after that, you're going to see soybeans start to flowering and all those reproductive stages start to kick in. Well, and it's really interesting, on a year like this year, we had a really tough time getting soybeans in on our farm. We had a lot of rain come right at the end of corn planting, and frankly, corn planting was pretty late for us too because of all the snow that we had all the way into early May, which is quite unusual even in our area. But when soybeans get planted late, a lot of farmers are nervous about it too of, wow, I hope I have enough time before there's a frost in the fall. And the good thing with indeterminate soybeans is they have this trigger that even though they didn't get planted until early June in many cases, they're still going to make it. They're still going to flower around the 4th of July or so. You know, it takes a little bit of time for that trigger to kick in and get those flowers started. But if they start flowering about that time, they will make seed that will be ready to harvest by harvest time. Now the challenge with soybeans is going to be how big will the vegetative growth get before they start putting all this energy into flour. Yeah, but the whole thing is with these indeterminate soybeans, they can have more vegetative growth and this flowering or reproductive stages going on both at the same time. So you might have really short soybeans out there flowering, well they can grow and still get pretty tall in the end. However, in the southern United States where they're raising determinate soybeans, all the vegetative growth occurs first, then the flowering and reproductive stages go. So different types of soybeans for different areas of the country. Well, soybeans are certainly an interesting crop. Even when they're planted a little bit late, they can still adapt. They start their reproductive stages by the shortening of days. I wish the same could be said about our weed brand that, you know, it's got a late start. We can hammer it before it gets into those reproductive stages. We'll show you how to control this week's weed coming up later in the show.